got a new method to do my eyeshadow. I'm so freaking hype, man. So hype, man. Welcome back to my channel. It is Glam by Ty or Ty, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm going to be showing you guys a beauty hack. I'm so excited because I've seen a couple of people do it. It's not even really like I haven't seen that many people do it, and I'm kind of wondering why. But this is what makes me want to try it out even more. But um, I haven't seen a lot of people doing this. It is when you apply eyeshadow without setting your lids. So that means. No translucent powder, no setting powder, no foundation powder, face powder, nothing. We just going in with concealer and shadow. I know. Yeah, I know. I was very skeptical about trying this out, but overall, I'm glad I tried it out. Because it was way, 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 way worth it. So, yeah, guys, if you guys want to see what I'm talking about, this eye was uh, not set with translucent powder and this I was so you guys can get a comparison of the two but you guys if you guys want to see the difference in the two then just keep watching all right guys so jumping in right to the video I'm gonna be taking my Tarte tape shape that looks like this and this is in the shade tan sand and I'm gonna be priming my eyelids I already went on ahead and did my brows and my um crazy on this one card my eyebrows out off camera Blending this in with a brush. Now the point of this is to keep looking down, especially for us girls who have hooded eyelids. I really don't know if this is gonna work for me. I'm really like hoping it does because my eyes are like OD hooded. So. with um, colorful colors today because I want to see exactly how much of a difference this is gonna make I'm feeling pretty blue today so I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna take yeah I'm gonna take this shade right here I'm gonna be taking my air spun translucent powder and I'm gonna be setting one of my eyes with this I don't know if it's gonna it's probably going to be the left eye yeah it's probably gonna be the left eye I'm going to go on ahead and I'm going to set this eye with translucent powder. I mean, they both pretty much yeah, look matte. I don't know the difference. So I'm going to zoom you guys closer to focus you only on the eyes. So now that y'all are up and close and personal and all in my business, like I said, we are going to go in with the NYX Ultimate Brights Palette and I'm going to be going in with Did I say this shade? No. I'm going to be going in with this light blue shade right here. I'm going to try to do this eye first being that it is creasing and that I guess so far what I've heard of the point of this method is to set your concealer Dad, with you your shadows. So I'm just going to put this right this is pretty bright yeah this is coming off really bright this is the side with no translucent powder okay. and I guess I'm just patting it on there and then I'm doing some little itty bitty yeah, circular motions I'm really trying to stay looking down Okay, 
So like I said, this was the side with um, no translucent powder. Now this is, we're going to go to this side and this side has translucent powder already on it. Uh, okay. You can already see a difference. I'm placing it in the same area that I put this eye. Um, I don't know. Let me keep going. Okay, so so far, of course, this eye is going to be way easier to blend out. This eye is a whole lot harder to blend out, but one thing I would say is, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but in person, this side has more vibrancy, like the color is more vibrant. Um, this side is like lacking. It's like dull, almost ashy. Not ashy, but it's more powdery. Um, whereas this side really pulls out the color more than anything. Dev, you went crazy on this one. I'm gonna have to work a lot harder to blend if I do not put translucent powder to set my eyelids. Versus this eye, I'm gonna have to put more product and use less force of blending but I'm gonna have to keep repeating the same process to build up the color that I want or the shade that I want. Next shade that we're gonna be trying out okay. is going okay. to be this aqua blue right here. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna place that blue right in the outer corner. Definitely gonna have to watch your product yeah, you went crazy on this when one. it comes to doing this method and watch your blending. But should be good. I'm definitely building up on this side so that it can look like this side. And with this one, I'm not really building, I'm just padding and letting it build itself. Whereas this one, I'm like, pack, 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 pack in the product corner and then going in. Okay, can y'all see a difference so far? This is the side with no translucent powder and this is the side with translucent powder. Okay, so now I'm going to go on ahead and I'm gonna be taking this blue shade Dev, you went crazy on this one. Going ahead. 
ahead and use my tart um, tape shape to cut my crease. And y'all seen me do this a million times, so. Okay, so I'm taking a little bit of my air spun. I'm going to go on ahead and set this eye because this is the eye that we are using the translucent powder on. Okay, so for my inner lid, I'm going to take this shade here. So already this is like highly, highly pigmented. Let's see this side. Eh, you see the difference? This side's way more pigmented, this side's lacking. I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. And I'm just gonna be going up these blue shades pretty much. Same thing on the other side. I mean, I guess in a way, you really would be able to get away with not setting it. But, could it I show you it's like me? I don't know. I'm going to test this out and see if this works all day today. Let's see if any crease and comes up. Dev, you went crazy on this one. All right, so this is what the eye look is looking like so far. It's very vibrant, more so on this side. It actually blended better on this side. I don't know, you guys. I'm starting to really, really like this technique and the fact that it's going to uh, make my eyeshadows appear brighter on my eyes, especially for us color girls. This is bomb. You just got to know how to work with it. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my face, do my whole face makeup, come back to you guys and give you my final thoughts on this method all right guys so this is the finished look overall i would give this probably about an eight out of ten only because of how much blending you really have to do and how much like effort you really have to put into the fact that you know that it's not moving and you really just got to keep going so with that being said 
will I do this method again? Hell yeah. Um, am I happy with the outcome? Yes, I really, 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 really am because I'll get closer for you guys, but um, this eye is a lot more vibrant than this eye, as you can see. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but I can tell because I don't have different makeup. So, um, yeah, this eye is a lot more vibrant and has like way more pigmentation than this eye. Um, this eye was easier to blend out than this eye. Um, what else? Dad, you went crazy on this I was kind of skeptical about it first. You know, I don't know. I got hooded eyelids. I, I have to set my eyelids. If not, they're going to crease. That was my, like my main thing issue thinking with this video is just like please don't let my eyelids crease i have hooded eyelids and if you don't know what hooded eyelids are is when your hood folds over your eyelid like that yeah whatever i don't even know how i got them i know my mama got them and they hers are wrinklier than mine is that even a word wrinklier more wrinkled than mine <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's not even a word. For all my women of color, I would highly, 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 highly advise that you try this method out. It may not work for my hooded girls. I don't know. I got I to come back to y'all with that one. But it may not work for my hooded girls, but it definitely is going to work for those who are trying to bring out the color in dark tones or dark skin. I'm ecstatic to start trying out different colors, shades warm tones cool tones all different types of things using this method because i feel like this might change my eyeshadow game like it might raise my shit to a hundred <laughs> i don't know why nobody has been sharing this method with us i've seen it through uh daisy i think daisy did it daisy marquez i think she did it and i've seen it on her uh youtube and i was like oh if this really works and this is really like you know this sh i might use it i might really like you know my eyeshadow game might change also if y'all didn't see my video on this hair review how i put my wig on or this hair color um video then i will make sure that i link those down below in the description and i will also put them up here in the cards for you guys to check those out yeah guys thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe i will see you guys in my next video bye